week of school so far. Moving on to the next segment. Today is day two in your special rotation schedule. Hi there, welcome back to the weather segment. Before I tell you today's weather, I have a riddle for you. My riddle is, I am something you see in the sky. I'm sometimes fluffy and sometimes gray, and I can release snow, hail, or rain. Can you guess who I am? Well, I'll tell you the answer at the end of the weather segment. Now, on to the weather. Well, it looks like it's gonna be sunny today. There's a high of 73 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. There's a 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow, it looks like it's gonna be another sunny day. There's a high of 78 degrees and a low of 69 degrees. There's a 0% chance of rain again. On Sunday, it'll be cloudy with a high of 86 degrees and a low of 69 degrees. There's a 10% chance of rain. It looks like there's gonna be nice weather for the rest of the weekend. You should make sure to go outside and play. Anyways, the answer to my riddle was a cloud. Do you get it? Because clouds are in the sky. They drop hail, rain, and snow. And sometimes they're fluffy and sometimes they're gray. Anyways, that's all for now. Now on to the next segment. Please join us in our pledges. Please stand for the pledge to the American flag. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. It's National School Lunch Week. Today, we are gonna focus on the food group of grains. Grains are packed full of carbohydrates that give us the energy to keep our bodies going so that we don't get tired. Plus, it gives our brain energy so that we can perform to the best of our ability. There are going to be two types of grains to choose from today. Whole grains, like our cheesy Mac sticks, or enriched grains like our penne pasta. Both make wonderful lunch options. It's recommended that we make at least half of our daily grain choices whole grains because they contain more fiber than enriched grains, which makes our matchsticks a great choice. Enriched grains contain many of the same important nutrients, but have a less grainy texture. When you pair the pasta with our whole grain breadstick, you're making half of your whole grain choices. Check back on Monday to find out the winner and close out our food election week. National School Lunch Week may be coming to an end, but you can enjoy lunch and breakfast at Lee every school day. Good morning, Lee Spurs. Good morning and happy Friday. It is day two on our rotation and the first report card day. So all of you will be getting report cards home. That's right. And report cards are a little bit different this time because just like how we ended the school year last year, report cards are coming home um, digitally. So they are in the Home Access Center and uh, you can log in with your username and password or your parents can log in with their username and password, but all report cards will be digital copies this year. We are going to be having a fire drill on campus today. And so in-person learners will be getting to the nearest exit and out of the building as quickly as possible. If yeah. you're at home, what you should be thinking about is what is your exit plan at home? If there were a fire or a reason to evacuate your house, 
How would you make that happen? Mm -hmm. Think about that and talk about that with your parents because your safety is important to us, whether you're at school or at home. Absolutely. Okay. Also, Fridays are always our days for announcing Super Spurs. Who are our Super Spurs this week, Mrs. Howard? So we have three Super Spurs today, and our first one is in fourth grade. It's Venetia from Miss Lambs, and she, uh, Venetia is being recognized for excellence. Um, our next one is Jamie in Miss uh, Wagner's Purple One class, and that's two weeks in a row for Jamie, so I am super proud of her. And hers, again, is for showing flexibility. And our last one today is a representative of kindergarten, Blue Kinder, actually. And it's Yuthika for showing excellence as well. So great job, you three. Congratulations. Thank you for being super spurs in our building. So uh, we want to remind everyone each and every day, you have free lunch and free breakfast in our cafeteria. So please, if you are hungry, we want to make sure that you help yourself to some school breakfast or lunch. That's right. Also, we have some special teacher birthdays. Today, we want to wish Miss Panea happy birthday. Um, she is one of our ESL teachers. And on Saturday, it's Miss Jones's birthday. So happy birthday to our fifth grade blue designer. We're so excited for her. Um, to celebrate her birthday this weekend as well. Uh, is there anything else we need to talk about today, Ms. Howard? Maybe how do we stay safe and healthy? Yes. The only other thing I can think of is that, um, just a reminder to all our learners and parents, also if you're watching announcements, that it is Write-A-Check time, and that is one of our biggest ways to raise money for our school. I know we have a goal this year and um, that that money that we raise, we're going to use for a program called Tinker, which is all about coding and programming, and it's so much fun for everyone, kinder through fifth grade. And so parents, please um, write a check it's to our school for our fall fundraiser. And all of that is done virtually online. So you can put it in your credit card, earn some points for the school, the money that you give our school. Hey, why not? Or talk to your boss and see if they do matching funds. Sometimes they'll match what you contribute to your school. You never know. Well, lastly, before we let you go, we want to remind everyone how important it is to always wash your hands, use that antibacterial, and have your mask on. We were walking the building yesterday and we want to always see kids wearing their masks all the way up past your mouth, covering your nose. So please remember masks are on unless you are having a mask snack break and that should be happening outside. All right, learners, educators, we hope you guys have, parents, we hope you have a fabulous Friday. We'll see everyone out and about in the building. Bye. Bye everyone. The word of the week this week is accountability which means being responsible for one's actions. The quote of the week this week is, I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions by Stephen Covey. The tip of the week is, if you are asked a question in conversation, you should ask a question in return. It is only polite to show others that you are just as interested in them as they are in you. Remember learners, take our tip of the week and challenge yourself to do that. So find someone, whether it's at school or at home or in your community, and show them you're interested in them. Ask them a question. See if you learn something new. Birthdays! Yesterday birthdays were Angia in R1, Odvita in Y3, Buvika in P4, Inya in R3, Subrima Manin in B3B. Today's birthdays are Aryadia in G1, Arnav in PK. Happy birthday from all of us on Lee Live. See you next time. Here's of the week for accountability. We have Teju, who was nominated by Miss Farley. Tarini was nominated by Miss Mitchell. Kanishka was nominated by Miss Vargas. Kritika was nominated by Mrs. Weibel. Aviram was nominated by Ms. Hooper. 
Abiram N was nominated by Ms. Lamb. Anjali was nominated by Mrs. Jennings. Nickett was nominated by Mrs. Shin. Julian was nominated by Mrs. Dennis. Kartikia was nominated by Mrs. Wilkerson. Lillian was nominated by Ms. Hunt. Ishana was nominated by Mrs. Reeves. Chinmayi was nominated by Ms. Bryant. Srishti was nominated by Ms. Burt. Sana was nominated by Ms. Ray. Anish was nominated by Mrs. Wagner. And Shivanithra was nominated by Ms. Saucedo. Congratulations to all of our leaders of the week for their accountability. Have a great Friday. Hello, Leespers. Welcome back to the Hobbies at Home segment. Today, we are going to be making origami lanterns. Origami lantern is to have a square piece of paper. You can cut a printer paper or whatever paper you have and turn it into a square or if you have origami papers at home you can use those. The first step is to fold it into a triangle like this. After you have finished that you're going to take this and fold it into another half. So now you have a tiny little um, triangle. Now you're going to unfold everything and you're going to take the corners and put them in the center. You have to do that for all four sides. Now we have to flip it aside like this and you're going to have to turn it into the end which is just turn, rotating it and you're going to take the um, top and bottom um, corners and you're going to put them to in the center. You're going to turn it around again and you're going to do the exact same thing, except with the sides. Now you're going to take all the four corners and put them in the center. It should be somewhat like this. If it isn't perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if it, you don't think you like it, um, you can fix it. And then you're going to turn it around and you have to have something like this. So you're going to take the so you have to, you're going to open it up and you're going to press it just like this and you do that with the bottom. Now you have your origami lantern. Well, that's all for today's Lee Live. I hope to see you guys on Monday and have a great rest of your weekend. Bye!